This is one of the most common scenarios that I get asked questions about. I'm traveling straight through a green arrow and all of a sudden this person makes a left hand turn right in front of me and we collide, we hit. Okay, seems pretty clear. But then they, the officer comes out, call the police, the officer comes out and they end up telling the officer that they had a green arrow so they turn legally. So now what happens? It becomes a he said, she said. Most of the time. However, if you do hire a qualified attorney uh, and they know exactly how they can do a proper investigation, they may be able to help you out. Okay, so left hand turn, he said, she said situation is, you're in this lane, all right? You're traveling straight. You've got a green light. You're going straight. You're going to continue going straight down uh, this road. And we'll just call it North Street. So you're just going to head north, okay? You've got another individual on South Street right here. And they can either go straight or their light, everybody knows what, what it is, has a, a green turn arrow, okay? So they can either go straight or they've got a green turn arrow. This would be green so they can go straight. Um, if it's just green, then they have to go straight, and they've got to yield to the north traffic, right? But if they have a green arrow, then they're legally able to turn left because the north traffic would have a red light. So you're traveling straight. you got the green arrow. You're going. This vehicle makes a left-hand turn in front of you. This is a left-hand turn, he said, she said, because this individual is telling the officer, I had a green arrow. I was able to go. So how do you win your case? How does the insurance company end up paying you for your property damage and your and your injury if, you, if you're injured compared to paying that individual their property damage or their injuries if they're injured? Well, most of the time they say this is a 50-50 thing. Your, your driver's telling you that they had a green arrow. My driver's telling me that they had a green arrow. You pay for yours, I'll pay for mine. Each person has 50-50 fault. That's not good for you because you, at, in, in that situation, your insurance premiums are actually going to go up because you're at fault. You're, you're conceding that you're at fault, okay? That means that you're paying your deductible to get your car repaired, $500, $1,000 just to get your car repaired. And that means you get zero for your medical bills. You get zero for your pain and suffering because this individual is saying, I had a green light. How do you prove otherwise, okay? In Louisiana and in, in, in Baton Rouge uh, specifically, we have a, a traffic sequence, okay, and that's public record. So we're able to locate this intersection, say it's North North Street, uh, or it's North Street, and we've got West Street, okay. So I would make a public records request for the light sequence at North and West Street. Now that's not going to tell us the full story, okay, because we need to know exactly the time that this happened or as close as possible to when this happened. So what we would do is look at your phone and see when you called the police. And I highly recommend that everybody call the police immediately after an accident as soon as possible so there is some type of record of when this happened, okay? Um, and then of course if somebody's injured it's important to get the proper um, first responders out so that they can take care of whoever's injured. But on this scenario We'll get exactly when they look, um, we'll get the exact location as close to the time that it happened and figure out the light sequence. So when we get it, and it basically takes an engineering degree to, to decipher through these uh, traffic sequence records that they send us. But I've looked at so many now that it, it, it comes very easy. You know, within seconds I can pinpoint exactly uh, who had the green light and when. Okay. Um, but we do two things. So I get that traffic light sequence, and then I also get hire a private investigator to get a recorded statement from this driver. Okay, that is somebody calling him up, saying, "Look, I know you were involved in an accident. I'd like to get the facts of what happened." A lot of times, the insurance company will call and ask my driver that uh, those same questions. So we're just doing our due diligence and getting the facts from this driver. Sometimes they'll say, "Look." I had a green light, I was driving this whole way, and I had a green arrow the whole time. And I was able to, to make that turn. Or they'll say, I was stopped at this at a red light, and then all of a sudden I had a green arrow, and I was able to make that turn. Or they'll say, look, I was, I was driving, it was a green light, and then all of a sudden it turned to a green arrow. 
we want to figure out exactly what their facts were of that. If they don't know, well then that's even better for you because you you say I had a green light the entire time I was driving. There was no red light. There's no yellow light. I had a green light the whole time. Would be uh, more in your favor because a left turning motorist is presumed to be at fault. Now that's a, a rebuttable presumption, but they are presumed to be at fault because it is one of the most dangerous maneuvers in all of driving is making a left hand turn and especially across a lane of traffic. Okay, so we want to get their story of what happened, see if it matches up or if it conflicts with the traffic light sequence that we receive from the, the city or the parish or um, wh whoever's the, the reporting agency on that. If we can find something that conflicts, I send that to, the, to their insurance company and point out the conflicting statement there. Five out of ten times, the insurance company will say, okay, I, now I see where you're coming from. You've got a little bit more evidence than we do. We're going to pay for the property damage and the injuries to your insured. Fifty percent of the time, they say, we still believe our insured. And that's whenever we've got to um, file a lawsuit, unfortunately. Take the actual deposition of that driver, see if their uh, testimony changes, which is goes more into uh, your favor, and then uh, proceed to, to trial. Hopefully, it's it's you know just in front of a judge. Sometimes in front of a jury, and they weigh credibility and, and determine who's truly at fault. Okay, somebody's got to be at fault whenever it comes to traffic lights, and it's not going to be the traffic lights fault. I can promise you that. After seeing all of these. Nine times out of ten, or 99.999% of the time, it's not going to be the traffic light's fault. So what I want you to do, if you were involved in a left-hand turn, he said, she said, I want you to email me, okay? Uh, it's very important to get the traffic light sequence. This is something that you can do, and you might be able to present it to the insurance company yourself or actually get it for your attorney if you're having some trouble with an insurance company. But email me at rshinnebear or at FletcherandRoy.com. It, it's in the uh, comments below or the, the description below. Email me and I will send you the form that I request the traffic light sequence. Okay, it's very simple. I've bolded out where you need to make your adjustments to the form and you can send it off yourself. Um, if you have any questions, of course, give us a call 888 8000. Um, I hope that this is valuable to you. I hope that you continue to watch our videos. You can like it, subscribe. I'm going to try to give you good content. Email me if you ever have a question. Tag a friend or family member that may um, find this useful. And have a great day. Left turn, he said, she said. What does that mean?